Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joe Metlow with Next Level Auto Detail. And in today's video, we're gonna be demonstrating what I believe to be the most underrated mini machine polisher on the market. So let's get started. All right, so we're working on this badass custom Chevy truck. Obviously it was painted uh, by a body shop. That means it was prepped. So we have all these severe sanding marks inside this little area here. And this area presents a lot of problems and a lot of obstacles to overcome. Number one, this is restricting us. So even if we get in with an extension, the extension could scratch or damage this. And then we have the bottom end of this over fender. At the bottom end of the rotation of our pad, we could burn the paint, cause damage. So what makes this so difficult is because we have to get really, really, really aggressive in this area because of the aggressive sanding marks. So we have to be very safe but also we have to be very aggressive. So we're kind of limited. Uh, this is kind of like a, driving a supercar in Manhattan. You're not gonna be able to open her up and see what she could do. So I'm holding the Flex PE8, and this is what I believe to be the most underrated mini machine polisher on the market. This is my preferred mini polisher out of everything that's on the market. For extra safety and extra precaution, I wrapped the extension in a microfiber towel. And I did that so when we're in here, and if we hit up against this, we're not gonna cause any problems. And we're also gonna polish that out after we're done creeping out of that annoying area. Being that this is a rotary, we could put one inch, two inch, we could put extensions. We could make this machine work in pretty much any area. Getting a long throw in here isn't really ideal because we're working with a limited amount of space. So having a 15 millimeter orbit in here, having a 12 millimeter orbit in here doesn't really make sense because we need to be exact and precise and that's where the rotary kicks in. So we still have some challenges that we have to overcome. Using a three inch backing plate in that specific area, things get pretty tight. But at the same time, we can't go too small because if we use too small of a pad, I'll show you what I'm talking about in here, I could only rise up so much and we need to get really up in there because of the sanding marks that are all the way at the top. We don't want anybody to see that. We're gonna be using the uh, two inch backing plate, like a three and a half inch Lake Country foams will pad. So this is gonna give us a little bit more height. So we're using a bigger diameter and pad so we could kind of rise up in there and kind of hit it if that makes sense. So we have our fast correcting cream and what I'm gonna do initially because I want all of the fibers in product so we can cut efficiently. So before I get in there, it's gonna splatter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub it by hand. Now, the greatest tool that you have is your hand. This is actually helping us in a lot of ways. So we were using that larger pad to kind of get up in there because if we use a smaller pad We're not going to be able to angle the machine up and hit that edge. So now I'm going to switch to a three inch Microfiber cutting pad. I'm not gonna wipe off because I already know how aggressive those sanding marks are All right, so that's what we started with. You see those sanding marks up there. We really didn't hit that area. Get the light in there, how hidden it is. But we got in there pretty good. It's not perfect we need to do another pass. There is some deeper scratches in the middle.
Okay, so this is what we're left with. Obviously, being that the PE8 is a rotary, we have holograms, but we removed the sanding marks. We removed a majority of the scratches. There are a few really, really deep ones that we're not too concerned about. Uh, overall, I am happy that we did and we're capable of removing the sanding marks that were up above. No more sanding marks. And now all we have to do is pull out these holograms. So we're gonna be using two different pads to finish. So our mid-tier step, we're gonna be utilizing the Griot's Garage Orange Boss Pad. This is a three inch. This is a lower profile pad and I'll be able to edge out really, really nice because it's a lower profile. So we're not gonna necessarily finish with it. We're gonna do kind of a mid-tier, mid-cut step. So now we're utilizing the Rupes 2 inch pad, the yellow polishing pad. It's a smaller pad, so we're going to use this to kind of finalize and seal the deal. Remember, we're trying to pull out holograms. The damage is removed, so pressure and high speed is not needed. We're just chasing gloss at this point. So this is what we're left with. Now, that little reflection white beam, those aren't holograms. So look at that, we got really nice edges. We've removed those sanding marks. And that looks really good. I have, still have to finish out on the other side, but like I said, that's easy. I could get bigger machines in there. Inside here was the biggest challenge of this truck. So you can see the holograms and really nice. All right, I hope that showcases and proves my point on why I believe this to be the ultimate edge work tool and mini polisher. So many people sleep on this thing and I don't know why. It's around 180 bucks and it's well, well worth it. Obviously buy the extensions, buy a different size backing place, three inch, two inch, one inch, whatever the case is, this machine can solve your problem and get into some really, really tight areas. It's not free spinning, it's rotary direct drive, so you could get into areas, curves, contours, edges. This is the ultimate edge tool for professional paint correction. If I had to choose one mini tool to use for the rest of my life, only one, it would be the Flex PE8. Now you guys might be saying, Joe, you could just use a regular rotary and use these extensions, and you are correct, but do you think I would want to do that with a heavy Makita or even a PE14, a bigger body? This is called the compact for a reason, because it's compact in size, and that gives you more access to certain areas, being that it's a smaller polisher. So very, very versatile. If you guys want to take paint correction serious, then this is the tool that you should invest in. I always use an analogy that an artist uses more than one paintbrush. Well, this is a paintbrush that you need in your arsenal if you wanna take paint correction serious. And this machine has gotten me out of so many tight jams before. And uh, definitely guys, it's the most underrated mini polisher that's in our industry. Nobody really talks about it. Right here, I didn't want a dual action. I wanted a direct drive rotary. Yeah, we had to do a few more steps, but we were able to finish it out. And a lot of people are intimidated because it's a rotary, and I, I get it, it's gonna take some time to get used to if you guys aren't used to a rotary, but get it, buy it, start practicing with it, and it will change the way you do paint correction. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the tips, please consider giving the video a like. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing for future content. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.